Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful Monday morning. We are joined by longtime friend, Bozeman legend, athlete extraordinaire, former North Face captain, <laughs> still North Face athlete, alpinist, environmentalist, Conrad Anchor with us in the house. I feel like your your captions, your 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 um, names, your your affiliations could go on forever because you're so prolific in what you do. Thank you for being here with us this morning. You're most generous with your compliments. <laughs> <laughs> an officiant. I could also call you an officiant. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is how I'll start my Mondays off. Yes. Is it Missy? <laughs> I love it. Now, Conrad, you're with us because you are protecting our winters. POW, this amazing campaign that's moving through not just athletes, not just advocates, activists. There's a lot of people getting behind this. So tell us a little bit about Protect Our Winters and what's happening on campus tonight at MSU. We'll be on campus tonight at Reed Hall 108. Doors are at 7, shows at 7.30, and I'm here with Protect Our Winners. And our goal is to raise climate awareness with um, uh, youngsters. So on campus, uh, students that would go skiing, uh, snowshoeing, climbing, winter sports, so see that connection between how our climate's changing and the sports that they love to do. I love this. So people are coming on <clears throat> campus tonight. They're going to be able to ask questions, and obviously you're going to be showing all sorts of your own footage. And recently you took a trip to Antarctica, and so you've been seeing things firsthand. And obviously your legendary career in athleticism in the mountains as well. So tell us a little bit about your, your, your time through all this. I'm a uh, mountain climber, so I travel in glaciated, frozen places. And to see the, the, the change that when humans first started documenting the high mountain ranges and to where we are now, it's quite dramatic. So I kind of woke up one morning in a tent being like, well, if I don't uh, put my shoulder to the wheel on this important issue, future generations aren't going to have what we have in our day and age. I love that. So when people come to campus tonight, what can they expect? I'll be uh, talking about uh, where we are, sort of the state of um, uh, the health of our planet. So looking at um, ocean acidification, uh, atmospheric CO2, and then trying to offer solutions. What can we do? And it's um, for the children of uh, future generations, this is their important issue. So how we address this is really key. And I love how you, you just mentioned that and how with the students, we're really trying to focus on passion into purpose. And that's kind of what you guys are saying with these kids. And so from throughout the rest of the week, they can contact you and they can figure out different ways to get involved, right? Yeah, they're, um, look me up on social media. We're all connected this day and age. So um, it's a good thing to be part of it. And it's always, uh, it's nice to be on campus. We have a really great uh, asset in Southwest Montana with, with our universities here. I love that. I love that. Well, it is time to move into a break. Conrad Anchor with us here live in the studio and live on campus tonight. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Man. Doors at 7, yeah. showtime 7.30. You're speaking for about an hour at Reed Hall. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, yeah. Conrad Anchor. It is time for a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us.